Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Hey, this country did this with Israel United in Christ. Hey, I'm Captain Hoshai to my left, you guys. Officer Minicum. Hey, look, today's topic is the resurrection of the dead. They say in Job chapter 7, verse 9, contradicts with John 5, 28 through 29. Now, look, I want to open up with a scripture real quick. Give me Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. Read. The book of Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Look, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. And if you want to become wise, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of that. Read on. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. The reason why people think there is so many contradictions in the Bible is because they don't keep God's commandments. They don't got a good understanding. Read on. His praise endureth forever. His praise endureth forever. So now let's jump right into the topic, the resurrection of the dead. John chapter, Job chapter 7, verse 9. The book of Job chapter 7 and verse 9. Okay. As the cloud is consumed and vanished away, so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. Okay, so Job has said he that goeth down to the grave She'll come up no more. Now let's go to John chapter 5, verse 28. Let's see what Christ said. Read. The book of John chapter 5 and verse 28. Okay. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Read. And shall come forth, and they, that they have done good, Unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. So Job is saying, He that goes down to the grave shall come up no more. Christ is saying, The hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. Whoa. Hey, that do seem like a contradiction, though, that don't it? Like that seems like a contradiction. Hey, let's go right back to what Job was saying. Let's see exactly what Job was saying. That's why you got to read things and keep it in its proper context. Read Job chapter 7, verse 9, and let's read all the, let's read verse 10 with it. Read. The book of Job chapter 7 and verse 9. As the cloud is consumed and vanished away, so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. Hey, look. Job ain't saying the dead can't be resurrected. I'm going to prove this to you. Read on. Read. He shall return no more to his house. You can't bring yourself back from the dead. That's what Job talking about. You can't bring yourself back from the dead, but God can. And look, this is how we know that he's talking about it because he said, he shall return no more to his house. If you die, you ain't waking up and walking in your house. <laughs> Wait, we ain't seen it yet. <laughs> Read that again from the top, bro. Read. <laughs> he shall return no more to his house. Read. Neither shall his place know him anymore. It said neither shall his place know him anymore. You ain't going home. You ain't going to sit up here and die, then wake up and walk into the house. It ain't happening. It's no contradiction here. Now let's prove that Job knew uh, that men can be regenerated. Let's go to Job 14 and 14. Let's see what Job say. Job 14 verse 14. The book of Job chapter 14 and verse 14. Read. If a man die, Shall he live again? So he asked him a question. He said, if a man die, shall he live again, Read. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. He said, I'm going to wait till my change come. I'm going to wait till my time come to live again. Let's see what change that he's talking about. So Job do believe in regeneration. Let's go from there to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. So what Job was saying in Job chapter 7 verse 9 is that a man can't rise himself. He can't bring himself back from the dead. But God got the power to do anything. Let's read that. First the book Corinthians. of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 51. Okay. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So this is the change that Job is talking about, Read In a moment. 
in the twinkling of an eye. Read. At the last trump. At the sound of that last trumpet, read. For the trumpet shall sound. And that trumpet will sound. Read. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Read. And we shall be changed. So this is the change that Job said he waited on. So there's no contradiction there. And we in the Bible it's called regeneration. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people today, they call it resurrection. Let's go to Job 19 and 25. Let's get even more proof. I'm trying to sit up there and say Job 79 contradicts with what Christ is saying. I'm telling you, man. All you got to do is keep reading. Now, look, hey, if, if you didn't have no understanding of the Bible, you would really be like, hold on. Yeah. Like, whoa, this thing do kind of contradict. It doesn't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. Now, look, keep going. All praise, we keep the commandments of God, for real. Now, what we at? Job 19, verse 25. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 19, and verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. He said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Read. And that he shall stand at the later day. He said he going to stand at the latter day. Read. Upon the earth. And though after my skin, worms destroy this body. Uh -huh. Yet in my flesh shall I see God. You see that? He said, look, even once I die, yet in my flesh. Meaning he knew that he was going to come back to see God. He knew that he was going to live again. Now, last scripture, 2 Samuel 12 and 23. Just in case people still like, uh... Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. If you don't get this, that's because you ain't keeping the commandments of God. That's Simple right. as that. Or just because you don't want to get the understanding. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to believe in the Lord. Read that real quick. 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23. Listen to what David said after his son died. Read. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 23. But now he is dead. Wherefore? Should I fast? So after David's son died, he said, now he is dead. Why should I keep fasting? Because people was asking him, like, look, while the child was living, you was fasting and praying every day. Now that he ain't living, now you ain't fasting, you ain't crying no more. Read on. Can I bring him back again? See, man can't bring nobody back from the dead. Only God can do that. You can't bring yourself back from the dead. If you die, you ain't getting up and walking back into your house today. And everybody in the house like, hey, Shalom, how you doing? It ain't happening unless Christ raised you from the dead or the Heavenly Father raised you from the dead. But you can't raise yourself from the dead. Read. I shall go to him. But he shall not return to me. You see that? He said, look, I should go to him, but he ain't going to return to me. Why? Because he can't bring him back again. Only God got the power to do that. With that, and we're going to say shalom, Messiah Christ blessed. Prayer, hope this was edified. And hey, now contradict this. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth